Welcome to an overview of the latest Corda Enterprise Network Manager, in short Cinnamon, release 1.3. The release introduced a couple of new functionalities for zone operators and Kubernetes deployment on Azure Cloud, which is my primary topic of the presentation. The release has three main functionalities. The first is the command line interface tool which replaces the direct SSH connection to each service. The access requires authentication and authorization uh, against uh, an internal Cinnamon role-based access controls. Uh, Cinnamon administrators has a dedicated web page for defining uh, users' entitlements. The last functionality is a way of changing services configuration. Command line interface tool can now upload a modified configuration of a service. Then this configuration will be applied automatically to the re related service. This eliminates need to log in to the service box and manually modifying configuration and restarting services. This diagram shows the complete set of services in the Cinnamon 1.3. The new services are highlighted in gray. We can see that the Cinnamon CLI command line interface connects directly to farm service. This service then routes all commands and operation to a specific Cinnamon uh, service. Farm service uh, therefore acts as a gateway to other services and also host a web application for user entitlements management. Each operation needs to be authorized and authenticate, and this is done via connection to auth service. Our auth service contains a new dedicated database, which stores uh, user entitlements. The new service zone is a central place to storing configuration for Network Map Identity Manager and signing service. When a user edits configuration via CLI tool, this configuration is stored in the zone service. Now, each service contains a new process called Angel. This Angel pulls for uh, configuration changes. And when the Angel detects when the configuration of a service has changed, it automatically restarts uh, the service. This diagram also shows a Corda node. It's worth mentioning that there is no new additional, uh, no new changes to uh, a way of a Corda node interaction with Network Map and Identity Manager. Cinnamon can be deployed on Kubernetes in Azure Cloud. We provide Helm charts in a GitHub repository for each Cinnamon service. For convenience, this is wrapped in one single bar script, which can be run from your local PC. The Kubernetes deployment contains all services, including also Corda Notary. The, the difference with normal deployment is that Kubernetes deployment currently doesn't support Angel for signing service. The typical deployment procedure is that you need to create Azure Kubernetes cluster. We provide basic instructions, but it's up to the user how the cluster is created. Out of box, Cinnamon is uh, provisioned with embedded H2 databases. You can set up a remote databases like Postgres or SQ MS SQL. Those databases can be both or inside the cluster or outside the cluster. In example and deployment in documentation, and here I will deploy Postgres database inside the cluster. Then, having prepared Azure Kubernetes service and databases, you can you need to edit uh, configuration uh, for services to connect to remote databases and run the script. Cinnamon uh, documentation can contains a comprehensive guide how to install on Azure. Following this documentation, I've already created Kubernetes cluster on Azure, which is called Cinnamon, and 
I deployed a third um, using third party Helm charts provided by Bitnami uh, Postgres database. This Postgres database and I created four databases inside the same server authorization database, identity manager database, network map database, and zone database. Now, following the steps, having database with schemas and cluster, I need to edit database configuration within Helm charts. The Helm chart structure is typical one. We, we each service has own folder and within we have charts, values and other uh, files which very often con uh, contains some scripts. Uh, following the database changes, I can using grep just to narrow the values for zone service, we can see I've edited a stock deployment which contains H2 database with uh, Postgres uh, details also containing internal uh, internal service location uh, for Postgres with a database specific database also for identity manager I've also mod already modified we can see that it contains different database name different user the same for network map and zone service now following the documentation the only thing left is actual start the deployment process yes the deployment can take a while because the uh, script needs to allocate public IPs. This is most um, often the most uh, time-consuming activity. After the successful run, the script will output the connection details for uh, C uh, command line interface tool and web access and details for network services for nodes joining uh, the network. We can also confirm uh, qctl get port, the current state of the cluster, which some of the ports are completed. This is specifically for PKA tool, which creates key, uh, certificates and key stores. And the rest uh, of the ports should be in the running state. After successfully deploying Cinnamon on Kubernetes cluster, we can start using it. We will use command line interface tool to connect to uh, Cinnamon. This tool is shipped via a Docker container. So I will run on my local machine command to start this container. And now by typing cinnamon, I have access to all commands and for subcommands. We can see that commands are grouped into four groups. So one is for zone service. Uh, the second group is for signing service. Another one for identity manager and network map. However, we haven't connected yet to the actual cluster. To connect this, we need to use command cinnamon context login with username and password and this is IP of the farm service. Now we, we are connected and we can start exploring our commands. The first one is to check what subzones are available in our cluster. By default we the Kubernetes cluster is started with one subzone of one network map, and this subzone is called main. Uh, the next uh, the next example command is identity manager get config. 
in this particular case we still don't con we are not connecting to identity manager but to the zone service because the zone service stores the configuration here we can see the whole config which is deployed on identity manager service another example is a list of CRL and in this case we our user has no permission to do so also if we want to now to get network map configuration we are denied notice that the permission for identity manager is global because there is only single identity manager per uh, Kubernetes uh, cinnamon cluster however the permission on network map is specific to the subzone those particular operations are uh, are related to uh, network management and our user has is not assigned by default so we can assign those roles to this user so we can connect to uh, the admin panel and we can see that our gen editor is a member of groups editors and readers soft when we see a group editors, we can see that only one user is in this end. Now we are we need to assign more roles to our group. Let's say we assign role network operator administrator to group editors in which gen editor is located. So this group has a vast number of permissions to to get network for example to get network map config to get CRLs and others so we are clicking edit and now we choose editors our group editors and we will both assign the main so this is our uh, default subzone main and also we will add editors and to the whole cinnamon and we will click edit to save now if we now if we try to run the same commands identity manager CRL get we can see that we received uh, CRL encoded as well if we uh, now want to retrieve network map config because we have been given the permission we can see now the com the configuration the, the other typical uh, uh, commands are for example cinnamon net, net map get so we in this case uh, we are connecting to farm service and from farm service we are connecting directly to network map uh, to retrieve the latest network map in this case we have just notary so one node info hashes before without these permissions the network map when uh, receiving the command was actually authorizing uh, against authorization service if we have permissions so in this way we can we can operate the corda network enterprise from our local machine Common line interface tool allows you to perform um, all of the network uh, operations. However, for the Kubernetes deployment, the signing service is set for auto signing. Therefore, the manual signing is more complicated and the signing service would need to be additionally configured in order to disable the uh, auto signing and make feasible for manual signing. Apart from um, network operations on Cinnamon, now in the new release you can also change configuration of your services via CLI tool. In this case you will first download a, a configuration on a, of a service from a zone service. You can modify it on your local PC, then you will upload to the zone service and 
angel of a particular service is pulling constantly for any changes in the configs. When angel detects the config changes, it will reload the specific uh, service automatically. In the example, we will modify a simple option for identity manager and we will watch the changes. So I have opened three screens. Uh, those two on the right are the logs from Angel of the Identity Manager, so I've connected to the pod, and the other logs are for Network uh, Identity Manager itself. First, we will be looking for the mm, log entry uh, denoting that the Angel has restarted uh, the service with the new uh, config, and we will see also in the Identity Manager log itself that it has been restarted. This is only for uh, demonstration, N normally you don't need to watch those logs. So first we can, we can see that we will get the configuration, we will display the configuration. And in this particular configuration, I will be interested in changing serial cache timeout to a different value. So the procedure is that because this is uh, command line interface, it's very uh, convenient to just write down this config file to your local PC. After this, we can run, for example, set to change. We can, we can display this and see that indeed now the CLR cache timeout has changed. Now we can update uh, upload the configuration to the zone service by providing identity manager config set and the name of the file on our local disk. Now we can watch the logs. They should be updated very shortly when the angel will detect the uh, configuration change. Yeah, the angel has detected, and we can see it set starting identity service and the logs the configuration now contains the changed uh, value for CRR cache timeout in the meantime the logs for uh, identity manager itself reported that starting identity manager web service so this configuration change occurs completely automatically so to summarize uh, Cinnamon on Azure Kubernetes cluster. We provide uh, Helm charts and Docker images, which are freely available on uh, GitHub and Docker Hub. Uh, we provide one-click deployment, which deploys all services. For databases, uh, you can deploy uh, Postgres or uh, uh, SQL server inside the cluster or outside cluster. We provide uh, documentation how to deploy it inside the cluster Postgres database. Uh, also, the signing service can leverage Azure Key Vault, the additional Docker image, for which you need to provide a library. More details are on our documentation page. The only difference between uh, Kubernetes deployment and manual deployment is that the signing service uh, does, doesn't come with Angel and to enable out manual signing you need to log into the pod and change the configuration uh, apart from that the cinnamon uh, kubernetes uh, cluster is fully functional out of box thank you